Hey there, brother. This is Steve Horseman with Good Guys to Great Men. Thanks for tuning in again. Here I'm on my ladder doing my annual hummingbird video. If you've watched any of my other hummingbird videos, and I'll link one to the top of this video here so you can see an example. I normally talk, talk about hummingbirds as an example of what you don't want to be. Like the hummingbird husband, the jittery, nervous, anxious, the prying, the pleading, the begging, the crying, the, the hyperactive husband is usually the one who never gets anything he wants. There's an anxiety about the hummingbird that I talk about a lot. But in this video, I want to talk, up, talk about the good side of the hummingbird husband. There is an energy that can be positive. That is high energy, high RPM, high pressure. And the good side is, is a passionate hummingbird. Now, you can be a negative hummingbird husband or a passionate hummingbird husband. What are the characteristics of a passionate hummingbird husband? In my mind, this is the hummingbird husband who feels good about himself and his life. He has a rhythm to his walk. He has a swagger in his swing. He has music in his head. He's, he's got plans. He likes fun. He likes surprise. He likes adventure. He likes unpredictability. He's the one who's always inviting people to go do stuff that's fun. And he's perfectly happy to go do stuff by, by himself if nobody wants to go. So in this video, I want to talk about this hummingbird video, th this hummingbird husband who has positivity about him. It's an invitation to lightness, an invitation to humor, invitation to a passionate high energy and a zeal and a zest for life. That's the kind of guy we love to hang out with as friends. And believe it or not, in a marriage, somebody has to bring that energy, an energy of unpredictability and fun and humor and swagger. So that's what I want to suggest to you. As you think about being a hub, hus, hummingbird husband, not being the negative one, but being the passionate one, the one who does not wallow in fear and uncertainty. And he decides instead to step up his game and to find his swagger, find his zeal and zest for life, and make a lot of invitations to join you in a much higher level mood, a higher energy. I hope that helps you today, brother. Have a great summer. Bye-bye.